Okay guys, welcome back to another video on Foxtech. I'm Lucas and in this video we take a look how you can log in to your iMessage on your iPad. At first, you have to go, go and navigate to your settings, so locate your settings like this and doesn't matter which section you are in, you have to scroll on the left side and find the messages. So tap on messages like this and for me the iMessage is turned on, but for you the page is going to look like this iMessage is literally going to be the only toggle at the top of your iPad. So naturally, you just click on and enable it. It is going to be waiting for activation, as you can see in this little text right there. And if you have used iMessage on the iPad before, it will skip through all of the, all of the things and all of the settings. However, if you go and open up the messages right now, if you leave the settings and open up messages, it will most likely ask you to, to sign in to, to your account. So let me just show it to you right now. If I disable iMessage, this is what you're gonna see right here. So it will give you this pop-up which allows you to use iMessage with the sign-in form. So basically, if you use iMessage for the first time on your iPad, you will need to type in your email address, that one that you use for Apple ID, and also the password. So it's very, um, needed. This is the only step you cannot go beyond that. So yeah, this is basically how you can log in to iMessage on your iPad. However, if you use the very same Apple ID that you have on your phone, then all of the messages are going to be synced. So you don't have to worry about the data. It's not going to be like a brand new device. It's going to be the same stuff, but on the iPad, you just have to authenticate yourself at first and then you will go through the steps and everything's going to be set up for you. So this is how it works. This is what I wanted to show you. By the way, what I also have been working on is the Foxtech platform on school where many different courses and stuff you can watch for free. You can join in that community right now. It is free to do so. The link is down below in the description. So in the classroom section, if you go ahead and check it out, there are many different courses and stuff you can watch for free in the community. There are a couple of posts which I just put in randomly whenever I find something useful for you. So you can go ahead and just join that community right now and I'll wait for you inside. For now, thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out until then.